This game, I've seen some people say it's a revenge game. I've seen some people say it's not. For it's my opinion, this is not only just a revenge game, but the Titans, this is a whole nother Ravens you have not seen yet. <laughs> This game reminds me, it's not as high of a standard. Remember, I cannot think of the year, was it? It was 2011. Remember the Patriots game. Not that high of a level, because that was the finals. Going to the Super Bowl. I believe it was Cundiff. If I said the name wrong, I ain't racing from my memory. Because we got Justin Tucker. But still. You missed that field goal. Ray came in there. We don't have no Ray, but in the locker room, he said, we will be back to this. Then after that Titans game last year when they beat us in the playoffs, Ray Lewis said on a show that the Ravens, as far as the defensive players, they should get ready because they're going to face them again. And behold, we are facing them again. Regular season, they beat us 30 to 24. We all know Derrick Henry in overtime ran that, that ball. Only Derrick Wolf was out there, no Brandon Williams. No Calais Campbell. But they gave it up in that second half. They was they retired. But this game is different. Last year, that wasn't the Ravens that dig in the dirt and grind. That record, that wasn't a Ravens record right there. This record now, wild card, having to go undefeated. To get in the playoffs. That is a Ravens. History. That's a Ravens record. Lamar has been playing. Different. Since. He has come back from that virus. But not only that. Um, he has. And Jiro stepped it up. And mainly Jiro with the play calling, he's starting to spread it out more, calling better plays, new plays has been put in, as Lamar said in one of his press conferences. But I'm just going to tell you straight up, Ravens are going to win this game. Last year, I was a little nervous coming in. I'm not even playing. We're, we're not even on the field. But I was nervous. This game, I'm feeling like that that 2012 Ravens where we were playing against the Patriots. The, the billboards of Ray Lewis last game was up. Oh, you remember what happened last year and all of that. And it's kind of got that same feel. And we know the results. The Ravens went in there and dominated that game. This time, I feel the Ravens going to dominate this game. Calais Campbell knows Derrick Henry very well. If I'm correct, they were in the same division. So he knows them very well. A healthy Calais Campbell is back. Then Brandon Williams, a healthy Brandon Williams, is back. When they beat us 30 to 24, those two top tier players was not in the game. Derek Wolf was doing everything that he can. And he he did his thing. But now the three monsters are here. 
Patrick Queen first run in with Derrick Henry. He had some hiccups, but he learned from those mistakes. And from what I see, that dude, he learns on the fly. He learns very fast. And I believe they're going to slow that down. The tackling is going to be different. I believe it was Brown where so many, my boy Money Marlowe, MP Juice Man, they was all trying to strip that ball instead of just tackling Brown. I believe tackling is going to be better. I believe they're going to be more physical. I believe we were, we were, what, a total of 404 yards last, last game. This game. Is going to be ridiculous. J.K. Dobbins has stepped up way more than when they faced us. I believe he only had like 70 yards for about 15 carries, something like that. And this J.K. is different. They're going to feel that J.K. and Gus. They're going to feel it. It ain't going to be none of that. And the Ravens, they don't deep to the level of standing on the logo. That's not even Harv's forte. But the Titans head coach, he was letting his players do it. And I can't remember him winning a Super Bowl with the Titans. It didn't take Harv that long. It didn't take him that, that long. But still. It's about a respect thing. We're going into their house now. That was the Titans for you Titan fans. That was y'all Super Bowl last year. I still see Titans fans now. They're celebrating. Oh, yeah, we whooped y'all twice. We did that and did that. I'm sorry. When was the last time y'all was in the Super Bowl? You was sitting there reaching. Oh, it was so close. So close to winning it. But you didn't. You didn't. You came up shout. Just like this game, you gonna come up shout. So, congratulations to the Titans on winning that playoff game last year. That was y'all Super Bowl. As well as winning a regular season game against us in overtime. Congratulations. Because this Sunday, I believe it's gonna be over with. Lamar is getting a lot better. And he's finna hit another level. The dude just keeps getting better and better and better. Back to back thousand yards rushing. Top five fastest quarterback I believe in NFL history for us hitting 30 wins. And he's only what, 23? About to be 24, something like that. Another level. It's like another level and then and one of the keys to me of this game is going to be time of possession Ravens time of possession has over these past weeks has stepped up tremendously and that's one of our keys we're going to have to have in this game is time of possession because the more we keep the ball longer we keep the ball and score touchdown the more rest the defense can have because we know they're gonna they're gonna be trying to run it with Derrick Henry and if we can get them in that place where they have no point of running anymore and just passing we know that is a lock that is gonna be a lock they already saying jimmy smith can is gonna be back healthy semi healthy but as long as he's back mp juice man got that pick last week so hopefully that trend keeps going on marlon humphrey he haven't did a fumble in about a game or two, I believe. That, and hopefully that comes back. It's going to be 
going to be something else. So, once this game is over and the Ravens win by 14 plus points, just remember, Titan fans, at least you got a leading rusher again, just like how you had CJ2K. Oh, <laughs>